After being rejected by every hosiery manufacturer in North Carolina, Sarah went home to regroup. But her father's early lesson of embracing failure as a learning tool made her determined not to give up on her idea. She got a call about two weeks later from one manufacturer, and he said, I have two daughters. And I told them about this product, and they said, that's amazing. You have to help her. So he said, I, I still think it's crazy, but I'm going to help you. She needed two things. She needed a name and a package. And so she came up with Spanx. And she liked the kind of naughtiness of it, kind of the innuendo in it. With $5,000 and the backing of a mill, 27-year-old Sarah incorporated. And in 1998, Spanx was officially born.